What is going on guys, Jim here and welcome back to the channel. On this week's video, we're gonna be looking into my top five favorite mods that I have on my 2021 Subaru WRX. Let's get into it. Wow, that is right. I have owned my car for a little over a year at this point, and I have put on a ton of modifications to my 2021 FA20 equipped WRX. So I get questions all the time, like I'm thinking about picking up one of these cars on the used market and I don't have a ton of cash. So what would I suggest as the top five or first five modifications you should do to your WRX to get you looking and feeling and sounding like this? I will premise right off the bat, there are so many modifications on this car and some of them are extremely subtle and there is kind of a sum of all the parts once you put a handful of mods on there to get the car to look exactly like mine does. But once again, if you're on a budget and I can only give you five, oh man, okay, we're gonna do this, but we're gonna step into probably the most noticeable modification that's on the car right now. Obviously, first on the list is my Cosmos Racing XT005R wheels. Manufactured using flow form technology, these wheels are designed for both strength and lightweight performance. The XT005R features a classic five-spoke design, in this case, in a gunmetal finish with machined lip. With fitment specs being 18 by 9 with a positive 35 offset, these wheels, in my opinion, offer a perfect balance of style and functionality. For you super wheel nerds, the back spacing measures at 6.38 inches and comes with a center bore of 73.1 millimeters. All of this can be summed up in two easy statements. They fit great and they look great. Easy. Now on to the next. Next on the list are the Silver's Neomax coilovers and they feature a monoblock shock design. This increases shock oil capacity and displacement compared to traditional twin tube designs Included are adjustable T6 6061 front camber plates, allowing precision alignment adjustments with 24 levels of dampening. The carbon steel shock tube has a 52 millimeter diameter and a 44 millimeter linear internal piston. Height adjustability is done through the lower bracket, eliminating the need to adjust spring perches or preload when changing your vehicle's ride height. Silver suspension comes with a five year limited manufacturer's warranty and is equipped with a default spring rate of 8K for both front and rear. Once again, that's a whole lot of technical mumbo jumbo. And quite frankly, if you could just read the spec sheet and know which coilovers to buy, that would make my life a whole lot easier. But at the end of the day, how do these coilovers check all the boxes? They look good, they ride good, and they fit fantastic. And we're not even talking about the fact that you have an infinite way of adjustability to tune this vehicle in just the way you like it. Third on my list is the Noble JDM style grill. Now I know what you're thinking. We're three products in here and they're pretty much all aesthetics and you would be right. I would tell you the reason that is, is because I actually have the WRX model, I was more worried about making this thing look good than just kind of going balls to the wall with all kinds of performance modifications. Not to mention, most people who are going to be asking me about what kind of mods they should be doing, especially first to their vehicle, are usually the type of people who are kind of worried about things like head gaskets blowing or ring lands cracking or other kind of warranty voiding modifications. So in this particular set of three modifications we have to the car, we just kind of set it and forget it. There's no real worry about long-term effects for engine or driveline components. But with that being said, let's get into the grill. Unfortunately, this particular Noble grill is for face lift cars only, so that means you 2018 through 21 WRX and STI guys, this is the grill for you. Construction is an ABS plastic, and in my particular case, we have a high gloss piano black finish. Noble does have other options if you are lucky enough to have the World Rally Blue or Crystal White where the outer edge of the grill can be paint matched, but you still have that classic piano black in all of our honeycomb grilling. This particular mod for me was a little bit difficult to pick out because I have done videos on like budget friendly front end modifications and how far you can get your dollar to go and look the best with the front of your vehicle. I'll drop some notable mentions at the end of this video, so if there is some things you like particular on this front end, we're not going to leave you hanging. Now I know I just went through a whole spiel about how I prefer aesthetic mods on this car other than performance, but 
The Cobb access port does ring in at the number four favorite mod I have for my 21 WRX. Quite frankly, I can't go on enough about the Cobb access port. What doesn't this thing do? I mean, right off the bat, it unlocks performance with just the off-the-shelf maps that you can download onto the car for instant horsepower and torque increases. It also opens the door for live data monitoring and enables launch control with flat foot shifting for some models, including this model right here. If you're looking to do hot boy stuff, it does unlock performance parameters such as zero to 60 and quarter mile times as well. Not to mention, if you get that bum old check engine light, it is also an ECU scanner to diagnose engine codes. The list truly goes on with the advantages from the access port, and I have a ton of videos of me not only installing that on this vehicle, but going through all of the parameters that I just talked about. So we'll definitely leave a link for that in the description down below. Finally, the fifth and final favorite mod that I have for my 2021 WRX. This last mod, I believe, is going to be an extremely understated mod that catches a lot of people off guard, but they always have a wow factor when someone actually discovers it inside the vehicle. And that is the Noble LX Carbon Fiber Center Console Side Panels. These panels are a complete replacement panel with OEM fit and finish. The carbon fiber that is installed on this panel is of the Noble Platinum Series carbon fiber construction, which means it is the top tier carbon fiber you will find from Noble. Oddly enough, one of my favorite parts about this mod is that I actually forget about it every once in a while, and it takes somebody who doesn't normally sit in my vehicle to get in and go, wow, what is this? This is super cool. I don't recognize this from my car. And then I have to go, oh yeah, you know, I have these super cool carbon fiber noble side panels, which really ties in a lot of that carbon fiber look that I have from all of the OEM packaging. So there you have it, my top five favorite mods that I have on my 2021 WRX. Now, like I mentioned, there are so many notable mentions here, it's almost impossible to kind of pick five. It was kind of fun because if I could only only choose five on here those would probably be my top and that's why i put them in the video but hey we're out here we're walking around maybe you saw some stuff on the car that you don't quite agree with on the list but let's check out those notable mentions most specifically is the front of the car like i had mentioned there's kind of a sum of all parts thing going on and i think the reason the front of this car looks so good is because we've tied a whole bunch of modifications together so we're going to start with our noble carbon fiber bulge hood scoop as we move down i've got my noble x brace with being that hot pink really kind of lets you know that I'm coming down the road. Uh, we've got the new Noble headlights. I mean, these headlights are super duper cool with all the, the features that they have, the RGB stuff on them. Although this isn't an aftermarket part, it is aftermarket to this vehicle. This is the factory STI non-fog light bezel on there, which I think goes real good with that honeycomb compared to my grill honeycomb. And then finally is my Noble lip. That thing looks great. And when you combine all of that stuff together, that is a really good looking front end that I just cannot deny. Continuing back on the car, I have some of the DTC honeycomb uh, vinyl overlays over here. I almost called them stickers, but they're vinyl overlays for there, not to mention right on the mirror. I know it's kind of sunny, not sure if you can see that, but I think tying that kind of stuff together is a super subtle look and pretty cool. I've got the noble blue tinted mirrors there and they have the turn signal that's all wired up and that's kind of cool also we got the rain guards rain guards are a big thing people love these i didn't love them at first and now since i put them on the car and actually use them i'm definitely leaving them on i'm certainly not taking them off they are just super cool to use and that brings us back to our noble window spoiler i'm pretty sure this is the v2 or something like that with the little kick in the middle there i don't know i put a lot of parts on cars everything's v1 v2 v everything and no Hot Boy Subaru would be complete without a set of Rally Armor mud flaps front and back. I think that is just paying homage to the Rally off-road uh, heritage that these cars have, and I think they just look cool and deserve to be on the car. Moving on to the back of the car, we have our Noble Gloss Black Paint Panel. This thing really does kind of set the rear of this car apart instead of having just all of that magnetite gray back there. This also comes in a carbon fiber look if you want to match anything that's going on, but I kind of like the piano black back here because I do the same thing with the front and it just kind of keeps the theme going. Something else that's extremely subtle and hard to tell, at least on my car, are these Noble exhaust finishers. These things are paint match magnetite to the car. Now, if you had like a World Rally Blue or a white, you could probably tell a lot more, but for my car, 
they just kind of take a little bit of that plastic edge off. You know, we got the F1 light, all kinds of super cool stuff on this vehicle. At the end of the day, it was super hard to just pick five, but I think I did a pretty good job. I don't know. So what did you guys think of that? Those are my top five modifications for your VA chassis WRX or STI. I hope you enjoyed this one. Man, was there something else that you saw on the car or that you just prefer in general as a top five modification? Be sure to drop your comment in the comment section below. So for thousands of parts, like everything you see on this vehicle, plus tons more, be sure to hit up importimageracing.com for all the best deals on the web and in the world, and we'll catch you on the next one.